This is such an interesting show for you because when we first meet you on it, you're sort of reserved. And I have to admit, I didn't watch <laughs> Low <laughs> Island, but was this a surprise for you to get this invite or was it sort of a, a blessing for you in a, in a way as well? Yeah, I would definitely say it was a blessing. I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of it because I like when I showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a ton of celebrities here. And I'm just this 23 year old kid that just graduated college and was working on a Dairy Queen and was ready to start my life. And now I'm here in Scotland all of a sudden. So I was super grateful to be a part of it. And like with the nervousness and everything, anytime I'm in a new group or a new environment, and then you add like 20 new people that I got to go around and meet, I'm definitely going to be nervous. I have a lot of names to, to learn. And I felt overwhelmed. I, I, that's what I would say. And like, you have all these cameras now. And I'm just like, I was just overwhelmed for a moment, especially the first couple of days. And that's typically how I am in real life too. Like I'm anytime I'm in a new environment, meeting a ton of new pay, new people, I'm overwhelmed for a little bit. Then once I get comfortable, I can start to thrive in my environment. So then were you familiar with any of these people you were starring with on Traders? So yes, um, I knew Deontay Wilder, Peter from The Bachelor, and then everyone else I was somewhat familiar with, but not 100% like, oh, I know you. Like, I've heard of Janelle before. I've heard of Dan Giesling before. Like, I've heard these names, but I never, like, watched their entire season. But uh, my stepmom's a huge Big Brother fan. And so, like, I remember hearing about Janelle always having to win to make sure she didn't get voted out. So I was just like, oh, that's Janelle. Like, I'm playing with Janelle right now. So it was just funny, like hearing those stories and be like, oh, yeah, I, you were on my TV while we were eating dinner one night. <laughs> Did it surprise you then that you and Peter seemed to bond so quickly? You know, not to, we were about the same age, like a decade, it seems like very far off from being the same age, but he was the next person that I was like, the next oldest person to me. I was the youngest person there. Peter was the next oldest. So like him and I just kind of hit it off right away. And we were walking around the castle. We just had a great bond right away. We were both from love shows. So I felt like we kind of had a bond there talking about like how our experiences were on Love Island compared to The Bachelor. So we had a lot of fun conversations like that. Well, speaking of surprises, it was incredible watching you and Phaedra bond so quickly. And it spawned so many memes and so many different <laughs> clips on the internet. How did your friendship develop? You know, so fun fact, uh, I flew into Amsterdam and then on my flight to Scotland, I ended up meeting Phaedra on the flight. I helped her put her suitcase above the carry-on place. And she goes, where are you going, honey? I'm like, I'm going to Scotland because I'm worried about all these NDAs and not slipping up. And then she goes, honey, are you going to a castle? I was like, yeah, I'm going to a castle. She's like, I am too. And then she's like, look, tell me about yourself. So then I tell her about the whole Love Island experience, everything. And then she tells me about her life in Atlanta, like being on Real Housewives of Atlanta and married to medicine. So then we just hit it off right there. And she, we were set before we even stepped into the castle because... You know, then I get out of the van and I see her again. I'm like, what's up, Phaedra? And then we're just already buddy buddy. What did you think then? I'm sure people have reached out to you and shown you all of the many clips and stuff about Phaedra, you know, and calling you Burgalicious. What does that mean to you? <laughs> I think, you know, I was thinking like maybe after this TV show, if I ever do another one, I can be called Karsten. And I'm like, nope, I'm stuck with Bergie and I am the Burgalicious. Like, I see all the memes of like, damn, like, Someone put Dan Giesling saying not my Burgalicious on my bingo was not on my bingo card ever. <laughs> so just seeing everybody saying Burgalicious in the castle and it's just like a common thing. It's like, where did this come from? So I just absolutely it's a it's just a running meme in the castle and out of the castle. I just absolutely love it. And I don't know what else to think. Well, speaking back again of your teammates, you teamed up quickly with Peter and Trishel and Kevin and John. Do you find it interesting that you gravitated to all these different personalities? No. So first it was Peter. And then Peter and I decided to trust Trishel after she called out Peppermint and was so incorrect because she, she was like crying. She felt so bad about it. And I was just like, there's no way she could be a traitor. So that's why we tr started trusting Trishel. She's like, because you're not going to call someone out and be that wrong about it. 
and be that upset about it as well. If you're a trader, that's such a bad gameplay move to do. Like, oh, I'm a trader. Let me call someone out real quick. Because you don't have to do any of the calling out. You can just sit back and relax, which was what Dan was doing. So like, we were like, that ah, Shell can't be a trader. So like Peter and I then teamed up with Shell. It was the three of us. Then John, um, he gave this speech about his family. And he's so glad he's not a trader for his family and his political background. He wanted to show you that he could be a good person. So we're like, John's a faithful. So that was us four. And then Kevin, I didn't really ever trust Kevin because he was all over the place. But Peter's like, trust me, we can trust Kevin. I was like, oh my gosh. So then it, Kevin kind of joined our group. And then we also had Janelle, but Janelle ended up getting banished. Because if you remember, we all voted for Dan while everybody else voted for Janelle. This was such an amazing experience for you. Do you have any special moments that really linger with you? Maybe even just those meals you all shared together. Yeah, definitely the top moments for me is going to be the graveyard challenge, surviving murder with the shield. I don't think it can get any better than that. Like if people are going to remember this season, they're going to be like, oh, that's the season where someone survived murder. Like, I don't think that's ever happened before. I'm not sure with the international seasons. I know it hasn't happened on the U.S. before. I don't think it's happened on UK yet. And I don't think it happened on Australia. So I think that was like a big moment for the show. And to be a part of that was like an awesome moment. Who have you kept in touch with since being on the show? I've definitely kept in touch with Janelle, Phaedra, Peter, and Trishel. I'm sure your stepmom is like, you have Janelle's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, it's so awesome. It's very surreal. What did you yeah. learn about yourself from your time being on the Traders? You know, this was more about like just proving to myself that I could play like a reality TV show game with like all these big names and just be a part of it. Like I, I wasn't trying to prove that much. And I think I like far exceeded my own expectations. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of you all on the show? They were so many people really rooting for you because you and Peter were just so well aligned together. Yeah, I would just like to tell everybody, like, that's a fan. Thank you so much for being a fan of mine. Out of all the people that you could be fans of, I really appreciate it. I am just always try to bring the best personality that I can of being humble, being happy with what I'm given, and just being grateful overall. Well, you certainly were a positive uh, person on the entire show. And I think people could tell that you have like a goodness to you that I think that's also why they didn't like accuse you of being a traitor because, you know, well, at first they thought, may, you know, poverty, I think gave a, a, a maybe because your cheeks were red or somebody thought because your cheeks were red at the moment. But I think yeah. uh, what won out is your good personality and the warmth you give. Mm -hmm. And I think that really helped me in the long run too. Like nobody will... I think even if I were to play traders and there was a different set of traders, I think they would even potentially have a hard time killing me knowing that like I was always happy and, you know, just being a good person all around. Yes, I'm sure it, it was, it was, it looked very painful to have to vote you out at least this season. Um, so uh, I think that must mean a lot to you then because so many people endeared themselves to you. Yeah, it does mean a lot. It's awesome seeing like, it was a hard decision both times, twice in a row for Phaedra to vote me out, but she did it twice in a row. Couldn't stop it. But at the same time, I understand her like strategy behind it. She pretty much had to because, we, you know, I may have came after her this next episode with Peter's group. So it was definitely a good call on her part. Uh, but it's, it's so nice seeing everybody's positive reaction with having me in the castle.